Doug Thomas with Catering Creations in Rogersville. And tell me what Catering Creations is. Catering Creations is a full service catering company, uh, working with corporations, working with weddings, special events. Um, we specialize anywhere from our smoked meats to prime rib, um, whatever people individuals want. We obviously are known for our smoked meats, um, but we've just branched out so much uh, with working with some of the wedding venues that we can provide the, the best that there is in salmon or brisket or whatever it is you want. And I know obviously you cater at Samuel Cedars and Stonegate, but you cater um, other places as well. I think we've catered to every venue in Springfield or the Springfield metro area. So I don't think there's anyone that, unless they have their own in-house service, mm -hmm. we've pretty much catered everywhere. And how do consultations work? How does it, if, if a couple is interested in catering creations as their caterer, how does that work? Uh, we really have two different options. They can go to the open houses that we have at Stonegate or Samuel Cedars mm -hmm. uh, on a regular basis. Those are the second Mondays and the fourth Mondays. Um, and if they're not able to make those, then we set up private tastings and consultations with either myself and or our bar and catering manager. What do you hope the couple um, does when they taste their food on the wedding day? What do I hope they do? I hope they that it's jaw dropping. They go, wow, this is the best food we've ever had. Mm. Um, that's and in all that they say, this is such, this is so easy. This is great. This is smooth. Um, that it's been so, uh, just an easy process to get this uh, worked out for them. So tell me what all you do offer. So I heard you said that you do appetizers, obviously the full meal. Tell me kind of the. So again, our smoked meats are our are, are staple. They, they are the item that we've done forever. Um, and since we've been open, since it's been open 10 years ago, that's what we've always done. Uh, those are our award-winning products that we have, brisket, um, pulled pork, whatever it be. Um, but we can do all kinds of different salads. We can do, um, obviously, comfort foods go with barbecue. But we also have more formal. Um, if someone wants balsamic car uh, glazed carrots, we can do that. Um, we, if, they, if they want the salmon, if they want the shrimp, uh, whatever it be, we can, we can go to that point. Uh, we do a lot of holiday type meals. Uh, and surprising enough, we've had a lot of brides asking us for breakfast mm -hmm. uh, and holiday meals. And so we can do those and, and make great, um, great meals of any of of those products. So you offer, if they are um, needing appetizers um, and the meal itself, you can do both of those, correct? We can do those, we can do the bartending side of it, we can do the non-alcoholic beverages, uh, we can accomplish anything. If it's at Stonegate or Samuel Cedars, we can go from as simple as using disposable styrofoam plates all the way to china and crystal. Uh, we can go as simple as dropping off, which we had a couple of drop-offs to weddings this, uh, just recently, or we can have our staff that's fully there to be able to serve, to be able to bus tables. We can pretty much uh, make it packaged to whatever any, the, the bride and groom want. Tell me what does a work day look like for Doug as far as catering creations, because I know a little bit of your other work day, but. It depends on the season. Mm -hmm. uh, in the holiday season, I'm usually up about three, two or three o'clock in the morning putting on uh, some of the products like turkeys uh, that people want for holidays. Uh, but for me, most of the time, I'm the early morning guy getting anything early morning started, getting ready for our crew to come in. Uh, after that point, it's really working with the crew in the kitchen, helping them out, talking to, to our customers, uh, working with them, working with our, our management staff. What's important for you when you're helping the couple as far as the catering? Attention to detail. Mm -hmm. That's the biggest thing. Attention to detail, follow up. Uh, when someone calls us and, and wants to get a hold of us, that they know that they have immediate access. Uh, even if our bar and catering manager is not available, they've got my cell phone, they can get a hold of me. Um, and we just, we double, triple check things as we're going along to make sure it is fulfilled 
it's what it's supposed to be to make the event the best it can.